Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the backplot toolbar. So I'm just going to load in a complete program again and pick up um, one of the files I just opened. Now I'm going to backplot or simulate this um, NC program by clicking this button. And you can see now it's um, drawing the NC program in this window for us. Um, and we can play that. Um, have some controls here for speeding it up. Um, so now we can see the tool going around and you can see the um, the cursor updating to show you which line of code draws that um, that tool path so we can stop that. You can double click inside this window and the cursor will move to highlight that move and it also gives us some information on what type of move that is so I can see that there's circular moves. <coughs> We have a few options available, um, so we can uh, turn off the rapid moves, so now all the yellow moves have gone. We can um, highlight arcs, so you can see now that most of that program is made up of arcs and the white lines are G1 moves. We also have a solid simulation available. Um, this only works on three axis uh, milling tool paths in the top plane. Um, so it doesn't support four axis or five axis um, tool paths. So the first thing that we need to do is set some stock. We can only set um, rectangular stock and this is scan the NC program and uh, given us some default values for the stock here. So I'm going to click on OK. Um, now we have to set the tools that we're using. Um, so I'm just going to accept the default tools that I have here. Click OK. And you can see now it's made a um, solid simulation Okay, so that's the um, professional version with none of the additional options um, installed in the system.